Weightlifting. It can be intimidating for some. How and where would you even begin? Well, for one Ohio woman, it was a journey that began just five years ago, and it didn't take her very long. She now holds the title of the strongest woman in the world, and her journey isn't stopping there. Central Ohio native Brooke Sousa is considered the strongest woman in the world. Her strength was put to the test in all areas, from a Hercules hold with 285 pounds a hand to winning a real-life tug-of-war against a full-size truck. But behind the awards and recognition is a single mother of two who, like many, has battled with weight her entire life. So when I was 10 years old, I, I think that's when I first realized I had a weight problem. Uh, we were at Thanksgiving dinner and, you know, I weighed as much as my pregnant aunt. And they're like, you're 10. And I was like, oh, well, gosh. Once Sousa had her first child, she realized she needed to make a change and decided to try her hand at fitness. Uh, when my daughter turned a year old, my youngest daughter, I started through a weight loss journey and never stepped foot into the gym until I turned like 28 years old. So um, it was all so new to me and went through group fit fitness classes during that journey. And, uh, you know, I always lifted the heaviest weights in class, which is where they came up with She-Hulk for me. And I was just like, you know, 12, 15 pound dumbbells. And I'm like, that was nothing. But um, I figured until I had a goal to where all the weight in the gym was lifted at one time, which is impossible, but not for She-Hulk, right? Uh, then I could keep on lifting and my goal would never end. Those goals quickly led her to the big stage, competing as a professional heavyweight in strong women competitions around the world. But the extra push she needed came as many pushes do with a little help from a friend. Uh, one of my co-workers at the time told me my first strong woman competition would be in three weeks so he signed me up and I'm like I have no idea what that is so once I got started then I was like oh I love how the events change all the time and so there's always a new goal to get better at you know training her love for competing and evolving as an athlete continued to grow leading to better health and a newfound confidence once I got into strong woman it was really neat to see that we were all different sizes and it just mattered about how much you could lift. So um, it just built the confidence with me um, to accept my body size, but now I'm living the healthiest life I've ever had. She's now preparing for the Arnold Classic, which brings in the top competitors from all over the world. But for Sousa, it's a homecoming, with the competition being in her backyard of Columbus. She tells me she trains about 10 hours a week while working as a personal trainer, not to mention her biggest duty, being a mom to her two daughters. They are so excited because it's helped them so much, like when they go to school, like, you know, knowing who I am and, you know, what I do and, uh, you know, the confidence it brings to them. So now for them to be able to watch me again is, I'm really excited and it draws a big, you know, crowd to watch the woman now. And there will be a big crowd come showtime to cheer on Sousa, decked out in her now signature green. To know that I have people that I've met throughout the whole entire world uh, following is just really special. Just different parts of my journey and you know, there's people along the way that wanna be a part of your journey and you just need to let them in and help you or help them in return, so. It makes it very special. A journey of strength and perseverance from that 10 year old girl to the strongest woman in the world, ready to conquer any weight or anything that comes her way. She was uh, pretty amazing and inspirational. The Arnold Classic begins on February 28th and runs through March 3rd. Sousa will be competing in five different events, some of which include lifting a 220-pound axle press, a 220-pound stone, and a 540-pound frame. Definitely no lightweights there.